I use this every single day. But should I be worried about how this phone is affecting my health? France recently banned sales of the iPhone 12 over radiation exposure. I think if you actually have any kind of phone, you shouldn't be sleeping with it, you know? It's just emitting a radiation. All smartphones emit low levels of radiation, but France's radiation watchdog says the iPhone 12 emits too much, exceeding the limits set by the European Union. They figured this out by testing the phone's specific absorption rate. It's a measure of how much radiation is absorbed by the body. Our cell phones emit a type of radiation called electromagnetic radiation. Electromagnetic radiation is actually probably the lowest energy radiation that we actually encounter. Cell phone radiation is not ionizing. It can't damage your cells. So as long as the device is operating within its allowable parameters, it is not providing sufficient power to cause you any harm. Health Canada says radiation from cell phones is safe when it's under the limits it's set in place. The World Health Organization says the electromagnetic fields produced by cell phones are classified as possibly carcinogenic to humans, but that puts it in the same category as aloe vera extract. The WHO has also called for more research. Anything that emits radiation may actually have long-term harmful effects. So you know, use it appropriately. Apple has promised to update the software of the iPhone 12 in France to address the radiation concern. The update will reduce the amount of radiation that the phone pushes out. If you want to reduce your exposure to radiation, Health Canada says there's things you can do, like texting instead of calling, making shorter phone calls, or calling from places with good reception. If you have more questions about cell phones or radiation, let us know in the comments.